Huh. It's a turtle. No, it's not. It's a statue of a turtle. Or perhaps a monster. <gasps> it's the prince from the poem. Which would mean... This sculpture must represent the princess. I suppose I see it. The turtle seems to reach out toward the princess like the prince would. <gasps> huh? Did you see that? Was that a tear? Statues can't cry. I do not see any tears. Are you suggesting that a stone carving can feel sadness? Come on, what was that poem you recited earlier? Once very long ago, a prince and princess sundered by walls of water vowed their love within the temple halls of mortar. Aha! A tear! I told you! I did see something shimmer around his eye. I surely stand corrected. It almost looked like it was reacting to your recitation, Palomina. I think you're on to something. Let's really give it something to cry about. Having fun at the turtle's expense, huh? Can you blame me? It's a crying statue. I want to make it ball like a baby. Palomina, where are you going? You do not hear it. Such a strange sound. She's acting like she did on the cape. Let's follow her. A crying turtle? A forgotten love poem? What is going on? Best to just let Karina and Palomina handle it. Yes! The voice from the vista. Once very long ago, a princess's heart soared as she danced by her prince. But their love was forbidden in this instance. Forbidden love? Ooh, what's next? Tell me, tell me! Unfortunately, this particular passage is all I heard this time. I cannot attest to the rest. No way that was the end of the story. There are probably other things nearby that are kind of like this. Hmm. We should check another of the rooms. I'm a sucker for forbidden love stories. I gotta know what happened to those two. I too am immensely intrigued by this rhyming riddle. Let us resume searching the rooms. Unseen challenges await us. Please work. I'm brimming with power. Close her off.
When I regard this relic, I recall yet another ringing refrain. Once very long ago, a prince said to his princess as they danced together, he would not let her slip from his grasp whatsoever. Oh, the suspense! He might let go! Ugh! How does it end? The statue in the other room is indeed reaching out his hand to his princess. It's acting out Palomina's poem. We have to keep looking. That's another room down. You doing okay, Morley? Uh, it's nothing. I'm just not accustomed to Karina's enthusiasm for this. Subsequent stanza. Once very long ago, a princess looked at her hand now unclasped, and her tears swelled like waves as in sorrow she gasped. That liar! He said he'd never let go, and then he just up and left her? You might be too invested in this story. It does pluck at the heartstrings. Tears swelled like waves as in sorrow she gasped, right? The princess's tears must have something to do with the wall of waves. But that's all I've got so far. How could he have let go of her hand like that? Why tore them apart? I have to know. The adjacent antechamber may have some answers. Wanna do this the hard way, huh? We ask for your assistance. Lord. I'm only just getting stirred. You're mine! Come at me! Submit! Stay sharp! You got it! I can still fight! You will pay! Here, use this! I'm on it! Here, use this! Fight free! I'm on it! You're mine! Take this! Here, use this! Easy! Okay! And so the love story between the pair played out. Once very long ago, a prince remained trapped by the waves alone, waiting for his beloved dance partner to return home. <laughs> How tragic! How cruel! The two lovers were torn from each other's sides! Karina is crying more than the statue. Just you wait until the turtle hears the whole tale. You'll see. He'll be sobbing way harder. Let's return to the hall and find out then, shall we? Something might have changed in the main room. I bet that turtle has fallen its eyes out by now. <laughs> Would it be? everywhere <sighs> it seems like the prince and the princess were broken-hearted in the end we should recite the entire story and pray for their happiness in the next life once very long ago a prince and princess sundered by walls of water vowed their love within the temple halls of mortar 
Once very long ago, a princess's heart soared as she danced by her prince, but their love was forbidden in this instance. Once very long ago, a prince said to his princess as they danced together, he would not let her slip from his grasp whatsoever. Once very long ago, a princess looked at her hand now unclasped, and her tears swelled like waves as in sorrow she gasped. Once very long ago, a prince remained trapped by the waves alone, waiting for his beloved dance partner to return home. May the two souls dance again together one day. Is the prince from the story supposed to be vengeful? Uh, that's not what I pictured. Verily, this is Vuskov, the sacred beast of legend. Vuskov, Vuskov? Who cares what his name is? He's coming right for us! This whole experience has been more than a fun. Yeah. 
Time to get to work. I'll carry on from here. Vessel is ready. He seems to realize this was a simple misunderstanding. Does he want us to follow him? I think we should. He's headed for the coast, I think. Don't fall behind! He is trying to tell us something. But what could it be? We'll know once we catch up to him. Come on! Hold on to the flagpole, or you'll get tossed overboard.
There's another one. Another Vuskov. Two lost lovers together at long last. A fairy tale ending fit for a pair of sweethearts. And the prince and the princess lived happily ever after. And so the tale ends for our heroes. Or whatever. Hey, look, I see land. I bet it's Jutuona, the earthen continent. Thank you. Huh? Is this flute for me? Earth and continent, you say? Jutu Ona was once bustling with people and commerce, like any other continent. No sign of that kind of life here. This harbor's fallen apart. Gnome just doesn't have the same power as he used to. There's no time to waste. Let's head to Guju and find Gnome. Prince found his princess. That's a relief. They look so perfect going off together. I, I almost started crying. Again. Now that we're here, we can head to Guju and find Gnome. Taking this. Let's rest up! 